Oops. Nope. There we go. Sick. Das whip. Love those wheels. Uh, yeah. Actually, one. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, there's ten. So I've been told Oh yeah, this feels like group four. Really, really heavy powerful cars. Like you can feel the power but you can also feel the fact that they weigh an absolute ton. So there's a debate whether this is better than, or the brick is better, and I think most people think that this is better, whether they use it or not. This is the meta. We'll have a look what's on the leaderboards at the end of this track. This is usually a pretty good track for not having one random really strong person be able to push with a non-meta car. Sometimes it happens, but... This is definitely a good car, which is nice. Nice to get a good car in one of the rain ones, because I tend to get the weird handling cars in rain, like... Um, Group three going through where was it with the wedge? J with, yeah, Japan with Japan in the rain. The bloody <laughs> hardest car to handle in the game. Right, what's the leaderboard look like? Top one hundred and I'm second in this. Yeah, whip on top, cosy. It's a turbo brick barely in there, only with drumstick. Then Lee Boom. Fairly good mix there. Actually. I like that, right? It's good. That's a good mix. There's often what people consider to be the meta cars, but they're often not dominating at the top of the leaderboards, which is good. Which is partially just because nothing's ever been pushed that hard.
Boom.
Hi, idiot. How are you? What's up? What you done? You can only do what you can do, don't bust the ball doing it. If there's a good chance you're not going to get the whole thing done, you can bust the ball doing it and they'll still tell you off because you didn't get it done. Or if you do bust the ball and do it, they're just going to expect it next time. So it's a lose-lose for you either way if you bust a ball to try and get it done. Tell them that you don't think you've got enough people. And if they say, okay, just get on with it, get what you've got done. And if they come back to you and say, why isn't it done? You go, well, you fucking one person to do four people's job or whatever. How are you going to do that? Go half up it. I'm going to put in the bare minimum effort I can get away with. Ah, 
happens. I hope you feel better soon. Have you been outside recently? Have you drank enough water today? Have you remembered to eat all of the simple things that we forget to do because the world doesn't want us to? It's taking care of yourself. That is not important. It's only for people who want to look cool. But, uh, you know, the simple things. The simple things. Going outside is good. Not great for anxiety, but uh, <laughs> good for mental health. You can stand at the doorway of depression if you want to. Even if it's literally like walking into the balcony or garden. Just look at something that's outside. Touch grass. Oh shit. I should probably pause the game. Um, Ew, Jim. Fucking... I always take issue with the gym. Unless you're using specific gym weights, there is absolutely no point in going to the gym. Unless you're using something you can't do elsewhere. A treadmill is not something you can't do elsewhere. A treadmill is a thing to replace the... Treadmills are a horrific idea to me, and so are static bikes. Because they replace the need for a space. For a large size of space. That's my problem with... With uh, static machines for stuff like that. Like... A static bike, it replaces the need for roads to be safe and for the outside to exist and like yeah it's more efficient to do your training what the fuck I don't think we can be friends anymore if you hate bikes they are incredible machines They can get you places in the most efficient manner actually possible. More efficient than any animal living. A human on a bike. The humans are remarkably inefficient in the animal kingdom. In terms of distance covered per amount of fuel used. Way more, you know, walking and running way more efficient than a car. But... In terms of most efficiency kind of things over distances and and that, we are incredibly inefficient. Even in like terribly weighted metrics. So there's metrics that are like how much energy it takes to get you somewhere. And that distance is real world distance. So the bigger you are, the more efficient you're going to be over a longer distance. Like, there was one calories to travel a mile. And... Horse, not great because it's massive. But ants, terrible. Because they're not meant to travel miles.
birds are insane. Kangaroos are pretty... Uh, well, kangaroos are quick, but like, in a weird way. Ostrich are fucking nuts. Ostrich are, yeah. But like cheetahs and leopards and the fast cats of the animal kingdom, they're insane. House cats are nuts. House cats are incredible, because they can climb, they can run, they're absolutely rapid. Why do you have to turn the family filter looking for Femby? Because if you put an extra O in there for Femboy, then that's a commonly used porn term. It's not just a porn term, but most browsers are going to cache it as a porn term because there's some uh, hot boys. Of course, it's homosexual. Incredibly homosexual content. So the term Femby is usually used in the way that I use it is non-binary NB, which comes from the letters NB being the initials for non-binary, E-N-B-Y is NB. If you use the English thing of taking words that are the initials of things and then turning them into actual words through other means. It's a thing English does quite a lot, actually, uh, for made-up things. Just say the initials out loud and then that becomes the word for it. Um, and then Femby is just feminine envy. Because I would like to be a femboy. But I'm not a boy, so I can't be a fanboy. There's, there's only two requirements to be a fanboy. One is that you are feminine. The other one is that you are a boy. I meet one of these requirements. Hey, Felix.
Don't do drugs, just play Zon. Go play fucking Defrag. Jump on Defrag. What map's on at the minute? Jump onto RTG. Respects the grind. Go on to EXE Pub. Respect the grind. That's got a chill map on it. Quite a fun one. Got some bu got some cool bounce pads in it. You just kind of go, and then you get hit by a bounce pad. Keep all your speed, but suddenly you're flying in the air. Just go chill out. Ah, if you want to rage, then uh, message Tommy and play play duels. Because he still considers himself to be shit and he's not happy with his performances. Which sucks, because he's actually playing really well. It's just he's analysing every failure. And I think he won't be happy until he has a flawless game. I think until he has an actually flawless game where he makes zero mistakes, maintains control for the entire match, and doesn't have an excuse to say, oh, well, it's just someone who doesn't know how to play. The problem with that is that he can't even have that game against me because I will just bomb rush him, and eventually you're going to kill them because slaps do 70 damage, and... I can respawn four or five times and happily die and not really care. And just like do chip damage in the 30 seconds. Yeah. Oh, what was that? There was someone doesn't matter if you've got tactics. I mean, it's, it's the Mike Tyson... Uh, no, it's Muhammad Ali. It's either Muhammad Ali or Mike Tyson. Everyone's got a plan till they get punched in the face. But there was someone who did effectively that quote. It doesn't, doesn't matter if you've got tactics if you just hit every shot. You know, your opponent can do whatever the hell they like. But if you just hit and hit and hit... There is nothing they can do. And sometimes you just got to accept that your opponent had a fucking good game. I think it was CS. I feel like it was CS. Doesn't matter how good of a tactic, how good of a tactician you are. If they can just hit five head taps with an AK and you're all gone. Ah, is it? Nico did hit shots. When he was on, he's on. Sounds kind of gay. We're in love with a lake. Tell you, moist and bents distributing swords from lakes is no basis for a system of government. Uh, 
we're back to the fucking... This is the worst. So, I haven't really driven this whip before. It looks like I've driven it for a couple of times in... What's it? And I think I did one year in it in... Um, in career. In Das Whip. I am just getting used to this car in the last couple of tracks, you know, in... In... Realistically, only in Javiari. I'm just getting used to this car. Before this, I played in the dry in the sink. Um, surprisingly, it was dry in the sink. But I got used to that car by roughly... Well, to be fair, I got used to that car about halfway through, but I, that was my main car when I played through the career mode, so I do have a bit of an understanding of that car because I have played it a fair bit more. I've used it in a few challenges as well for Brute 4. I enjoy it because it's really light and fast. So I enjoy, even though it's slow, I enjoy it. More than the rest of the super heavy Group 4 cars that feel like absolute boats to drive. But I'm just about getting the hang of this car. And now it's time to hang the wheels up on it. And fucking... jump over. Oh, I love the short wheel race. I, I think, so that there's a definite thing of my entire life, because I ride bikes that are too small. I enjoy riding bikes that are designed to be doing what I do with them. Damn it. But this thing's just a boat. And I've just said I was getting used to this car, but, you know. I swear, I'm getting used to it. Like, I wouldn't have been able to land that corner and drop that in when I first got into this car. Smaller bikes are definitely fun. But I don't really have any downhill stuff, so at the same time it's kind of that. But I've rode... I mean, my uncle's got some fancy bikes. Fancy downhill bikes. 52. And I rode... One of those. Cheers, Turbo. Nice one. Rode one of those at his. Speed in the... Um...